we need to talk. We need to talk about Egypt. More specifically, about scuba diving in Egypt. Hello YouTube community and welcome to another video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Matthias. I'm an underwater cinematographer and filmmaker based here in Zurich, Switzerland. Now just recently I spent two weeks vacationing in Egypt and obviously scuba diving was a big part of that vacation. I spent the first week in a dive resort um, in the south, close to Marsa Alam, and then the second week out on a liverboard going down to the southern reaches of the Egyptian Red Sea, more specifically to the area of St. John's. Now, since I've come back from this trip, a lot of people have asked me about if it's still worth going to Egypt and scuba diving in Egypt. And I don't really know why, but apparently a lot of people think that the scuba diving in Egypt has changed over the last couple of years. And some of them even think that it's not really worth going to Egypt anymore, specifically for scuba diving. Now, before I get into too much detail um, of my experience in Egypt, I just wanna show you some of the clips, some of the footage that I was able to get throughout the two weeks that I spent in Egypt. Enjoy.
So as you were able to see for yourself, diving, scuba diving in Egypt is still absolutely worth it. I personally had not been to Egypt um, for about six years, five or six years prior to this trip. And uh, myself, I was a little curious to see how the underwater world has changed since I was in Egypt the last time. Luckily, I can say that the underwater world is still very intact. I haven't really seen much of a difference when it comes to the health of the reefs and the coral systems and the entire underwater world when we talk about scuba diving in Egypt. There is still plenty of fish around, there is still larger animals around like dolphins, turtles, sharks. You can still see all that stuff, which is really nice. Of course, like in any other place in the world, there is some coral that has been affected by the um, global warming or the warming of our oceans. And you can see some coral bleaching in places here and there. But generally speaking, I still think that the reefs look very healthy and very nice in Egypt, especially in the area that I was diving in this time. I can't really say much about the northern parts of the uh, Red Sea. I haven't really been to places like Hurghada or even uh, Sharm el Sheikh in quite a few years. So I can't really say anything about what the diving and the underwater world is like there at the moment. But I can say that the southern parts of the Red Sea, of the Egyptian Red Sea, any place around the area of Marsa Alam or further down south if you're going out on a liverboard, these areas are still absolutely stunning and I would go back anytime. So answering the question that I have been asked many times since coming back from the Red Sea, yes, I do think personally that the Red Sea and especially the Egyptian Red Sea is absolutely worth diving in, scuba diving in. Um, it hasn't lost any of its magic. It hasn't lost any of its beauty over the last couple of years, in my opinion. If so, I think it has even recovered because there's been less tourists in the last couple of years and therefore the ecosystem, the reef system, it seems like it has recovered even a little bit. And in my opinion, it's even nicer than what I remembered from a couple of years back. How do you see Egypt as being one of the top diving destinations in the world? Have you guys been to Egypt before? If so, please feel free to put a comment down in the comment section below, letting me know whether you're agreeing with me or whether you think that scuba diving in Egypt is overrated. Also, let me know about your favorite place for scuba diving in Egypt if you've been there before. In my next video, I will actually tell you all about the place that I have visited on this last trip to Egypt, which happens to be my personal favorite diving resort when we talk about scuba diving in Egypt and the Red Sea. So if you don't want to miss out on my recommendation for a beautiful and really authentic Egyptian diving resort, in the area of Marsa Alam, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you're not missing out on that video that will be uploaded here next week. And that was it already for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it, a little bit of information, a little bit of insight when it comes to the quality of the scuba diving that you can expect when you visit the Red Sea, the Egyptian Red Sea. And if this video was helpful to you, if you've got something out of it, please do not forget to hit that like button. It really does mean a lot to me. And also consider subscribing to the channel for more travel and underwater cinematography related content in the near future. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next Sunday.